Chapter 2 from the Dharmapada on earnestness. Earnestness is the path of immortality or nirvana. Thoughtlessness, the path of death. Those who are in earnest do not die. Those who are thoughtless as if dead already. Having understood this clearly, those who are advanced in earnestness delight in earnestness and rejoice in the knowledge of Aryas, or the elect. These wise people, meditative, steady, always possessed of strong powers, attain to nirvana, the highest happiness. If an earnest person has roused himself, if he is not forgetful, if his deeds are pure, if he acts with consideration, if he restrains himself and lives according to the law, then his glory will increase. By rousing himself, by earnestness, by restraint and control, the wise man may make for himself an island which no flood can overwhelm. Fools follow after vanity, men of evil wisdom, the wise man keeps earnestness as his best jewel. Follow not after vanity, nor after the enjoyment of love and lust. He who is earnest and meditative obtains ample joy. When the learned man drives away vanity by earnestness, he, the wise, climbing the terraced heights of wisdom, looks down upon the fools. Free from sorrow, he looks upon the sorrowing crowd as one that stands on a mountain, looks down upon them that stand upon the plain. Earnest among the thoughtless, awake among the sleepers, the wise man advances like a racer, leaving behind the hack. By earnestness did Magalan Indra rise to the lordship of the gods. People praised earnestness. Thoughtlessness is always blamed. A bhikshu or medicant who delights in earnestness, who looks with fear on thoughtlessness, moves about like fire, burning all his fetters, small or large. The bhikshu or medicant who delights in reflection, who looks with fear on thoughtlessness, cannot fall away from his perfect state, he is close upon nirvana. We should meditate on that chapter for a few minutes. So let us take a short break and think about these wise words with me. Thank you.